My name is Francesca. Not Fresca. You'd be surprised how many people say a name incorrectly. It's Francesca. Fresca is a citrus flavored Coke product made in 1963. I happen to be a Jersey girl created and pooped out in 1986, the same day the Challenger Space Shuttle exploded. You could say my birth wasn't seen as a joyous occasion. In school, I always had to deal with my name being said and written wrong. It drove me nuts. Perhaps this is what has prompted me to my decision to kill myself. Or perhaps I have just been interested in death since I saw my cousin Seth lying dead on the bed. He was just laying there, smiling. Or maybe it's the fact that in a school superlative, I was voted most coolest. I mean, what the hell does cool even mean? And don't get me started on the grammar of most coolest. I'd rather have something that defines me more than cool. So, you still want to kill yourself? That's Ben. He's my best friend. He's always given good advice and looked after me. But I tend to tell him he's a retard and he should shove things up his ass. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Figured I don't have anything going for me, so why not? Are you unhappy or depressed? Not really. I'm just kind of bored. Yeah, the weekend has been dull so far. Plus, isn't it like honorable Japan to kill yourself? I think that's if you're a samurai. Well, what if? If I'm not dead later and you're not too busy, like, shoving a G.I. Joe up your ass or something, maybe we should catch a movie or something. Maybe. Later. Maybe. Later. Safe travels. first time I've decided to kill myself. I know I sound like a total psycho for saying that, but I find myself in moments of boredom wondering what it would be like to not be here anymore. The first few times I tried it didn't go exactly as planned. I wanted to be original and try something a little more intriguing than pills or hanging myself. Plus, I'm too tall, as I noticed, to hang myself as my attempts have failed. My next choice was electrocution. I was too big of a wuss to try the classic device in a tub routine. I decided a fork through an electrical socket. Classy. That proved to just blow a fingernail off and leave my hair standing for weeks like a 1980s cover for that. I'm sure the papers will link me to having Yuko syndrome, and I don't want to be linked to a fad. I sometimes wonder what I would do on my last day. What I would eat. What I would wear. How I would smell. 
Last but not least, my last look. Last looks are always important. I mean, who wants to go out like a deer in some headlights? Hey, asshole! You gonna hit me?